Hi, this is Becky. This is a short video on how to do hay cubes for Picasso. I keep the hay cubes in my trailer because there's not enough room in the feed room. So I'll show you which trailer is mine. It's, it's this trailer here. Normally this door won't be open. Haha, <laughs> oops. Okay, so around all the other junk you can see the Triple Crown Natural Naturals Timothy Balance Forge Cubes. And they look like this. So you want to take this bucket and just uh, fill it about two-thirds full with hay cubes. So I'll just take some handfuls here and throw them right in the bucket. Okay, so I'm about done here. And it's about two-thirds full, maybe closer to half. That's probably a little too many. Um, if you put too many in, it'll it'll flow overflow in the top when you soak it, and it probably will anyway. Okay, so I'm going to take this back to the barn, and I'll show you how we soak it. This is my locker, and you'll usually find the bucket, the empty right there. Um, and then I also have down here a sweetener that is supposed to be okay for horses. It's called EquiSweet. It has stevia in it and it's peppermint flavored. So I like to give him just one squirt of this in his hay cubes, which I'll try to do here with two hands. It's hard to do while I'm filming. Um, just one squirt of that on his hay cubes and that helps him enjoy it. Okay, so you can see there's one squirt on there. Be careful when you push down on the um, pump. If you push down really hard, it'll shoot straight out. And so push down slowly and carefully and it'll drip into the bucket. Okay, we're headed to the bathroom. Okay, so we're in the bathroom. The washer's going, hopefully you can hear me. Um, I will turn on the water and make sure it's nice and hot. And the reason why I put in hot water is that the hay cubes soak a lot better. So I'll just wait for this to get hot. Okay, it's nice and hot, and I'm just gonna let it uh, fill up all the way to the brim. And once it fills up, I'll turn off the water and let it settle, and then I'll put some more water in. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off for a second. And you'll see the water's just gonna kind of seep down into the hay cubes. There's some better focus. And it's sinking down a little bit. And then I'll just top it off. And I'll do that uh, two or three times. Also you can see the hay cubes kind of start to puff up so you may have to just move them around so they don't floop out in the sink. And that's probably about enough. So about two, maybe twice, just do it twice. Okay, so we're going to carry it over to a stall and put a towel over it and let it sit uh, for probably at least 30 minutes. Here we are by the stall. I'm just going to sort of pull all the hay cubes in, make sure they're not going to fall over. Sometimes they do. I may put it in his feed bucket so uh, some, if the feed bucket's empty. Actually, I'll do that. So if you have the feed bucket and it's clean, you can just rest the hay cubes in there. That way if um, any hay cubes fall over, uh, they won't fall on the ground. You don't have to clean them up. But if you put the towel over it, that's, that helps too. That also keeps the flies out while it's soaking. So I'm just gonna leave that towel over it and go do other things. I think you can hear Picasso is upset and wants his hay cubes, but don't worry, he knows he has to wait. Okay, so here we are after feeding and um, Picasso knows it's hay cube time. And I got this um, apple electrolyte out of my locker. And what I'm gonna do is take the um, cover off. You can see how many flies there would be on it if I didn't have it covered. And then I'm gonna dump it out. And you gotta give it a really hard thunk and it takes two hands, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I, I thumped it against the um, edge of the feed tub. And most of it came out. But I also have up here in my basket a spatula, which you can use. So it's just down here. You should be able to see a high Picasso. Um, and you can use that too if you need to get it um, 
get it out. So now what I'm going to do is dunk this in his water and fill it up with almost a full bucket of water and add a little more water to the hay cubes. So I'm just going to come over here and steal some water. Oof. And dump it in the hay cubes. And then I'll put a scoop of this electrolytes on it. Like that. And then I'll stir it all up and just try to distribute the hay cubes around the water and mix in the electrolyte. You can see what I'm doing here. Sorry, it's hard to hold the camera steady. Okay, so I've got it all mixed up and we've got one eager customer there and he'll be very anxious. So I'm just gonna wheel this over here and I just shove it under the stall guard and let him have at it. So he usually finish it all. Um, if he doesn't, I'll bring the spatula and scrape the hay cubes around the side back into the middle so he can get at it. And then if he really doesn't finish, if he leaves a little bit at the end, I'll go get a handful of triple crown light and stir it in, and then he'll definitely finish it. So um, that's all. Oh, and then you can um, just put the, hay, the uh, electrolytes in the bucket back in the locker. You don't need to rinse the bucket or anything. It just dries up. And the spatula goes back in my shelf here. And the towel just gets hung up here on my rack. Okay, uh, I think that's it. Thanks a lot.